All right, guys, it is Sunday morning, about one o'clock in the afternoon. This is what I'm saying why this gravel bar by cam, the main cam, right up the hill, get uh, hit hard. Look at this. Got a big old hole right here. That's my pile of tailings. Somebody actually, I think, dug it a little bit deeper, the last hole that I did here. They dug a, a trench all the way down to there. Uh, somebody just dug this, and they dug the one next to it. Now, for Freedom Fest, the water level was like way up here. So look how much it's gone down. So it's gone down a big portion. Somebody's tailings pile. That's got to be tailings. That wasn't there the other day. But let me uh, walk around this thing, show you guys. Yeah, these are my remnants of my other tailings. But I'll tell you one thing, for Freedom Fest, I think the water level came to like right here. Right there. So all that is all new, fresh ground you guys could run. And let's see here. I would walk across, but we're not going to right this second. There's the other gravel bar right there. We got somebody's dredge in the water right there. Right behind that tree that fell. Let me see you guys back out. PA's hole is like right there. So, yeah, but this gravel bar does not look the same, let me tell you. But I'm going to go run for a couple hours. We may go live also. So, just like last yesterday when I was here for my second dig. And we're definitely going to do at least one more today. So... walking back towards the new stuff that I saw. Uh, I did record a little bit yesterday, but uh, not too much. I went live instead, just so everybody could see me on the river. But yeah, there were people digging out here yesterday. So it did rain a little bit last night, but I don't think it's much to do anything with the water. Last time I was digging over here, and now this is all open, dry ground now. But yeah, it, all, it extends past the main entrance from camp, so somebody must have been digging out here. So somebody was digging over there too yesterday in that hole. But I'm gonna go walk down to my spot way around this inside bend here and uh, we're gonna start running and a fish just jumped or something that's pretty cool hopefully i got it on camera i don't know where he's at but he's somewhere in here pretty neat very cool or it's just a school of little minnows or something. Because I don't see anything. But very cool. So alright, well uh I'm gonna get after it for a little bit. Uh the Ohio guys are still here, but it seems like they're getting ready to head out. Uh, I'm gonna go dig for a couple hours. Just talked with Jim. He's like, yeah, I'm taking the day off. I got the grandbabies here, so taking a day off today but man this thing really gets hit every single time so I know what to do next time I come here don't do anything on this gravel bar no thank you so all right guys we'll be back when I get down to uh, where I've been digging around the corner here so we'll be back
All right, we are on. Sorry, there was a big old nasty horse fly on me. Uh, so what's going on? Uh, Sunday afternoon, I just got down to my spot I was running yesterday. Uh, check this out. Here's my hole. We're down about at least two feet. Look at all that muck down there and fun, fun, fun. So this is how much it rained last night because I had a little pan here and quite a bit actually. It's at least about an inch, maybe a half inch of water in there. So it's a lot. But good thing I covered up my pump last night. We're all safe and sound. Uh, yeah, there's water up on the high banker too, so very cool. So I think I'm still going to be digging in my hole right now. Uh, I might even extend it this way, not too sure. Um, I wouldn't have mind even trying to run some of this material, but we'll see. I know at least there's gold in that. Um, I am going to do some test pans before I even start just to make sure there still is gold in that spot. Um, I am probably going to go live today, so hopefully I'll see you guys all in my live. And I'll be looking at chat every now and then. But the water's still moving pretty good. Yeah, Cottonwood said he's not going to come down and dredge. He's been doing it for eight days in a row. He says he's about done for a day. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and run for a couple hours and uh, go from there. And hopefully we'll get more gold than the last two runs put together. So, I don't know. I don't know how far down I got to go to get some good gold, but, so, I don't know, we shall see. But, uh, well, I, I think one of these times when I come here, I'm just going to put a shovel and dig, put a shovel and dig, and go in different spots all the time. I'm not going to dig a hole. It's just going to be one spot, and that's that. But, uh, yeah. I think up here would be just a little bit too hard to dig. I mean, that's where Benzo was, and he got a pretty nice pile of gold. So I like to get inside these trees, but it's too hard to dig in there, or even some of this grass on the side here. But I don't know. So, uh, I mean, I could probably get my pump down there and the, the 20 feet of hose to run some material up here. I'll just have to run it off to the side, whatever which way. But I'd have to get my pump, my pump, the suction line in, use that 20 feet of hose, put that, put the pump in the middle, and then my 20 feet of inch and a half go into the high banker. I, I only got 40 feet of hose, so. And the pump's got to be in the middle 20 feet. And that's as far as I could dig. But uh, I don't know. I don't think we're as deep as that yet in my hole. Uh, of course, this was a little bit higher. But I don't know. I think I'm just going to be digging in this hole for a little bit longer. And then we'll uh, call it the day. But I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to do two... I want to do a couple test pans before I even do anything. There was some gold in that stuff from last night. Not really a lot, but from what I saw, there was gold in it. So, I don't know. Let me uh, go get set up here. Let me go do a test pan, and we'll show you guys if there's any gold or not. So, we'll be right back. All right, guys. Holy crap. I just did one test pan. I'm not going to say the location, but look at all this freaking gold. Hold on here. Hang on. Dude, there's one nice big old piece here. Let me zoom you guys in actually. Maybe it'll work better. So that's one nice little speck right there. And then you got another one right here. All these little white little specks up here, they're gold. And there's a nice pile of gold all throughout this. Even right here, there's a lot of fly poop. All those white specks are gold. Holy cow. So, there is a lot of gold in my test pan here. There's even some gold down in here too, I believe. Oh, maybe not. I don't think so. But that is one test pan. 
with all that gold right here. Holy cow. Uh, let me finish cleaning it up and we'll come right back, show you guys. We'll be right back. In fact, you know what? Let me show you guys how it looks wet so you guys could actually see it. Check it out. Damn horsefly. But a lot of fly poop right up there. Look at all that gold. There's just a ton of it besides the stuff floating on the water. So look at all that gold. Check it out. So I'm going to go grab my snuffer bottle. Let me zoom you guys back out. And uh, I'm going to start running that material. I got to walk a little bit to grab it. So I'm not going to show you guys where my location was. But yeah. Uh, let me go grab my snuffer bottle. And we'll be right back. All right, guys. What's going on? Sunday about, I don't know, 4, 30, 5 o'clock, somewhere around there, maybe even later. But we're done for the day. Um, I actually put some of my tannins back in the hole. A lot of this site is covered with my tailings. That's my new pile of tailings. Uh, this is some of my tailings, and that's the really big stuff that then uh, I, I kept pulling out of the uh, where the uh, clay paw is. We ran a shit ton of material. I did do a panning on my uh, last run for the day, from today actually, for probably about three and a half hours of running. Uh, this actually got a lot bigger. Uh, it actually extended out there. I had my, uh, my uh, Garrett Super Sluice there catching the heavy stuff. There really wasn't too much in there. No gold though. Uh, I did it about three or four times didn't catch any gold so if I ran it my sluice caught it I gotta grab my uh, zip tie here I didn't even know that came off good thing I came back and locked okay we got our zip tie that's for the uh, the screen on the uh, suction pump can't forget that but uh yeah we're all done we gotta get going I didn't realize it was this late but uh yeah there's uh the hole so that uh they were digging on freedom fest so yeah but uh i'm gonna finish up bringing my stuff which that's all i got left it got hot i had to take my shirt off and we're gonna go back up to camp reorganize the car uh, and then load everything up and head out. Uh, I got to talk to Jim before we go. So I got to text him, see where he's at. Uh, so yeah, but uh, I know where I'm going next time I come here. So, yep. I got the next couple of, uh, I got some digging to do. So. I don't know, man, I, I really want to take out this grass right here, too, and then some of that grass, but who knows? I want to get down to some roots, so. All right, well, I guess uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys when we get home uh, to finish off the uh, video from the trip. Show you guys what we got home, and... Check out the uh, three buckets of cans, plus the awesome rocks that I've been finding. Uh, Jim's taking a break today again, like I said earlier. He's got his uh, grandbaby, so he's taking a break. He's, he didn't come down at all today, at least down here at all, but he's, he's on some really good looking gold right now with his drudge. I couldn't believe what I was seeing in his pans, so. All right, guys, we'll uh, see you guys in a little bit. Oh, there's little pink flamingos right there. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Damn, it came. That thing was way up there. And now uh, it must have came down today. I didn't even see it come down. So, 
All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you uh, in a little bit and show you guys when I get home uh, what we got. So, see you in a second. We are back from Cottonwoods. Let me tell you, that was an awesome trip. Uh, really good test results uh, from that new area. Uh, so let me show you our stuff here that we brought home. Uh, this has one rubber glove. This is how we separated them. Uh, this was all day on the 22nd. This was the first run of that trip. A lot of, uh, black sand in there too you could tell how dark that is up on the top here so there's going to be quite a bit of uh black sands in there let me tell you that was our first run this was our second run this is when we went live you could tell all the black sand up there awesome stuff awesome new spots we got there uh, can't wait to actually pan this stuff out and this was our run on sunday we were down there for a couple hours and this is the material from the high banker before we left that morning I'll tell you one thing it's these are pretty heavy buckets man and there's only, I don't know, about an inch of the bucket filled. So, not too bad. Uh, these were the cool racks we brought home. Uh, let me show you this one. So, this one, I think, is just some um, quartz and, like, some type of black material. Uh, let me get her wet. All right, so this is what it looks wet. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, that's why we brought it home. So that's one of them. Again, we found one of these awesome looking things. Have no idea what it is, but that is pretty neat. Um, I thought there was some type of like a fossil or something in here. I could be wrong, but that's what I thought I brought it home. Maybe not. Uh, this thing, I have no idea what this is here. Um, it's some type of a shell. Very cool looking. Makes a weird noise too. And this was the coolest find of the trip. Check this thing out. I like all the, uh, I think this would be pretty cool to polish. Um, put in a rock tumbler and tumble this thing up uh so let's show you this side whatever this is i that's some type of a fossil i think that looks pretty neat uh, i think there's another one right here uh there's one right here and that's pretty cool because it goes around it i think this thing's pretty awesome there's another one in here I like all the uh, lines and stuff. Pretty neat looking. Got a little circle there. So whatever these are, this, I'm going to call this some type of a specimen. Because whatever this is, I've never seen anything like that before. And I think it looks pretty cool. So, that is awesome. Uh, here's our snuffer bottle with all of our test pans that we did awesome results i could actually see when i tilt this i could actually see some of the gold on the side of the snuffer bottle like right here there's some gold stuck to it uh, but i do see some of the pieces of gold in there so but yeah, um, we're going to leave all this together here uh, when we start going through it. 
when we start making videos of going through this material. Um, in fact, I already panned everything I did before this. I got to start running this stuff down my cleanup sluice and start catching up. Um, so I actually, when I get home, I actually write, I know it's kind of messy, but this is what I write down. One rubber glove was our first run on Saturday. Two rubber gloves was our second run after dinner. This is when we were live streaming. No rubber gloves was on Sunday, all day. Ran for a couple hours. We had very good test pans. So that's how I know. Um, and I could always refer back to these videos. Um, so yeah. That's how I know what we did with each video. And you could tell there's one rubber glove. Two rubber gloves and then no rubber gloves on the handle and that's how we separate it so again awesome trip at cottonwoods got great results um, if you guys haven't already please hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it if you wanted to support the channel um, i'll leave a link below for my Patreon page, please check it out. And uh, I guess that, that'll be it. Until the next video out prospecting, um, I think it was July 3rd or July 4th for the holiday. Uh, so stay tuned for those prospecting videos. Thank you all for watching. Be safe, be well, and we'll catch you on the next one.